We're very excited about our STEM challenge. Our STEM challenge is for our students to, to begin to think about what it's going to take uh, to sustain life on Mars. The scenario that we're giving them is that the first four have already landed on Mars. Um, after a period of time that they're already experiencing a malfunction, dealing with oxygen and, and uh, making sure that they have breathable air enough to sustain them until the next transport arrives with supplies. And that's why we challenge our students today in, in thinking about the, the upcoming challenge and create questions that they can use experts like Lieutenant Beamer. Being a high schooler, being um, either in STEM or the academy here, I know that these kids are sort of figuring out what they want to do. They're about to make in very important life decisions. They're about to go to college. They're about to start their technical degrees or, or go into the real world. And it's scary. And it's, it's something where you don't really know what steps you're going to take. And I think my message has always been that it's okay to not know how you're going to get there, but what's important is knowing where you want to go. So look deep inside of you. Don't be afraid to make decisions for your life and, and just go for it. I mean, that's the biggest, the most advice that I can give you. We just wanted to give our students something that's real, uh, that's really happening, that's exciting. This is one of the most exciting things that's happened in my lifetime, and uh, they're very excited about it as well, and so we just think it's going to be an, uh, a great challenge to end their year with. This is something that I've been passionate about, um, not only just the kids, getting them excited about science, um, exploration. I mean, this is something that um, I didn't really necessarily get when I was a kid, um, having people come and talk to me about kind of what's going on in the future. I mean, the technology we've gained today has been drastically different than what I had. And so for these kids, it's gonna be drastically different and they should see kind of a glimpse of where that's going and kind of understand what exciting things are coming up so that they know, well, there is a part for me. I, they need engineers to accomplish this. They need um, the, the managers to manage the people that are doing, there's all sorts of job opportunities and, and things that they can strive for. So giving them a glimpse of what's going on, um, it's just super passionate to, to me. Our students need to, to learn, we all do, we need to learn that um, we can set higher limits for ourselves. We can dream, um, it used to be to the moon, right, and now we're, we're shooting past stars and going all the way to Mars. And, and uh, so for them to, to see what it takes to really dig in, to persevere, um, and you know, that really ties into everything that we do, even including uh, what they're doing right now in classwork. And when you have people like Lieutenant Beamer that can come in and that share that message and they can say it, that takes you to the next level. And that's what inspires students and, and creates in them this sense of, hey, if she's doing it, I can do it too.